Hello, I'm Jennifer Lepore, Online Education Manager here at Artist Network TV. And in the studio with us, we have Soon Young Warren. It's so great to finally meet you and have you here. It's nice to meet you too. Oh, thank finally. you. I know. And we've been working on um, watercolor videos the whole time that you've been here. And you've done some watercolor books with us for Northlight Books in the past. And I think I might have had a chance to work with you on those in some sort of way. So it's just really exciting to see everything in action now. Yes. We did, um, the first day, we did basic tips and techniques, and then we've done glass and cherries, and then a third video on painting water, which we just finished today. So I wanted everybody to get a chance to know you just as we've had that chance to get to know you while you've been here. Okay. And um, I wanted to just find out a little bit about how you got interested in artwork have you always been drawing and painting, or when did you get your start? Um, I always, as long as I remember, I always wanted to paint, and drawing was my way of spending my time. So I think I, uh, I never been bored with my time ever again, because ever any time, because I always draw. You know, whenever I have time, the drawing was my uh, way of spending time. So. That was my, I think it's passion, passion, and that's mm -hmm. what I wanted. So I should say, you know, so as long as I remember, I love painting. So I knew that yeah. I want to paint, and I am so happy that I actually paint. These that's days. great. Did you yes. have family around you that was doing that to get you inspired, or no? They actually, I just love painting, but I think my family has tendency to draw well. But I think it's, I know that my younger sister, um, she, I, one time I made her draw something and I was actually shocked how well she draws. But um, maybe I know how to draw, but I think she doesn't have that passion that she wants to do it. But uh, she has, a, she's a hairdresser, so she's in the kind of an artistic field. Mm -hmm. But um, I always, you know, I always wanted to paint. I think so I want to put my hands on paper or canvas, and that's what I wanted to do. So I think it's how it goes, because I think yeah. that's my, well, that was my destiny, and my heart was always in that way, and I pursue, and I am here to talk to you now, so I'm just so glad. <laughs> oh, I'm mm -hmm. glad too. Did you always paint with watercolor? Is that what you started with? Do you know, so in the beginning, when I was young, I remember I drew, you know, everything I hands on, I drew. Mm -hmm. So, um, very early age, actually, I, you know, when I was young, not just me, but this whole town was kind of very poor era to some mm -hmm. kind of war so that at the time in Korea, South Korea wasn't that worthy and not that many people have great material available to it. So my actually um, first drawing, I drew on a dirt, on my dirt, like uh, I just make very fine dirt and pad on it and I start drawing with uh, um, sticks. And you know, so I just erase in, redraw, and it actually was kind of very cheap that way too. So I didn't have to have anything. <laughs> That's so neat. You can but, do it um, anywhere. Yes, and I remember first drawing. First, the only one thing that I remember big way is I had, I was in a big trouble because I think I must be very young because I first time uh, realized there was a chalk. And my sister brought it from school. I think because I wasn't, I didn't know what it was because I must be not in school at the time. And I had that uh, chalk, and my uh, mom and my uh, my parents actually re uh, applied the concrete on the wall, cement wall, and I thought that was great, so clean and smooth and um, <laughs> nice. So I drew a whole bunch of whatever that I wanted to draw, <laughs> and I was so proud of it. But I got into back trouble <laughs> later when my mom found out. So I have to scrub it off. I oh, remember, no. but um, that was my first experience that I got into trouble with the drawing. But I think drawing was my uh, way of fun and living, mm -hmm. and I always wanted to do it. So that was my beginning, but um, you know, the heart was always there, but mm -hmm. when I first drew a uh, paint was actually oriental painting okay. that I did, and that was watercolor that I used. Okay. 
And after that, at the time, watercolor was a besides point. I want to paint oil. So I want oh, to wow. on to oil for uh, for a long time. I think so, about 12 years almost. Mm -hmm. And after that, I um, kind of discovered watercolor unexpectedly, actually, because um, I ha had the chance. I had some of the supply because I used it in school as an assignment. And I had all the supply, and I thought it was watercolor is very good for uh, me to start because I didn't have a big space, and I just had a little corner and water and brush and just paper, and that's all I needed. So I started painting watercolor, and that's how I started my watercolor. That's about 14 years ago, wow. and ever since then, actually, I paint more watercolor than oil. How oh, neat! So, Do you mm -hmm. find that they? coincide with the way that your brush works or the way that you get your very, vision? Very interesting. I think it's the color mm -hmm. is the one that coincide with my um, you know, watercolor or oil. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I want. I want very bright, vibrant colors coming out of uh, painting. So even I paint oil painting, I paint my own way. I want that color to come out. So when I paint uh, watercolor painting, actually, I didn't want to be look slider, mm -hmm. I want it to be vibrant, just like my oil painting. They certainly so, are. <laughs> so I start to actually applying. At, I think that's why I start layering it more and more to achieve the effect that I want it. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that application is similar because it's kind of actually it's kind of backward, but. Uh, competition wise or you know what I wanted to come out of it I think there's no difference yeah so you know when I paint watercolor I just change my mind the process differently but when I paint oil painting I just change prices differently so okay. that's how that's what's different but only one thing that I want is I want the color or composition and I will probably if I have the subject matter I wanted to do it with oil I will just create as I want it to be and if I have a watercolor, I will actually do it as is, what it is. Oh, that's really neat. And I know that you did a, the painting water. It's something that you don't always do in watercolor, and you, you did for the demonstration, I, and it turned out this great. Is, I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I did paint, um, like, a... Uh, the pond scenery, okay. the okay. uh, reflection of a pond scenery uh, quite a many times. But I always did with most of them. I did with a lot of koi painting, but mm -hmm. I almost concentrate on koi instead okay. of a uh, uh, reflection to it, much of a reflection. Mm -hmm. But I think because I did it that way, because I want, it's easier to just concentrate on something more, uh, you know, conf um, kind of object or, the definition there's a definition it's each to follow mm -hmm. but just pond reflection itself doesn't have any kind of a, um kind of conform uh, kind of definition kind of concrete definition so water using watercolor at the hmm this it might be a little difficult so actually i painted uh many painting with oil with the pond reflection because you know, oil that I can cover it up as any way I want. I, in a way, I had a freedom in my mind. Mm -hmm. So I used to paint with, you uh, know, now I use painting with oil. But it's when you ask, uh, when we started this video production, when you ask me if I want to do a uh, pond uh, reflection, I thought, oh my God, how am I going to do it? Actually, it worries me a little. But <laughs> I'm glad you pushed me to do it because it's a little tedious because it depends on what kind of. Uh, uh, Composition you have, but for me it's doable and it's actually very exciting. Mm -hmm. So I thank you for that. Well, but, you're welcome. Yes. Thank you for doing yes, that. Yes, I always did a lot of still life mm -hmm. and it's a lot of floral or a lot mm -hmm. of other stuff that I've been doing it with watercolor a lot. But this one is actually the first time I did this pond reflection in this uh, this, in this manner. Way. Yes. Mm -hmm. So almost like I'm discovering myself all over again, and I'm oh, so neat. excited that I wanted to do it again. Oh, good. Kind of a larger scale. <laughs> this one, we did a small one, so. Good. And it does remind me of some of what you have going on in all of your reflections in your crystal and glass. Yes. It almost feels similar to that because yes. of the fun that you have with the drawing, with the paint on Yes. Us. Yes, it's, mm -hmm. I, you know, said still life, uh, you know, so it's even portrait or landscape, mm -hmm. I follow exact same 
kind of process. Mm -hmm. I um, I don't paint section by section. I will do uh, define the section by section when I'm finalizing it. But in the beginning, I spread the color around. Just uh, um, it's only one thing different with this one to this one is I highlight. I actually spread all the color around mm. beforehand before I develop this uh, dark back uh, to detail. So, but this one, I was actually going back and forth a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, kind of uh, adjusting a lot. Well, thank yes. you so much for being here. No it's problem. been wonderful. Thank you for inviting me to do this. You're and welcome. I thought about it, but uh, English is a second language. I always hesitated. So if um, I think it's if you about five to ten minutes here about my talking, and I think everybody understands what I'm trying to say. <laughs> exactly. I think so, too. <laughs> Well, thank so, you, and I hope we see you again soon. Yes. <laughs> the invite me can I'll be back. All right. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.